my god, Robbie, why are you so pumped about meeting Blaze? Word on the street is the dude's a major a-hole. Oh, come on. He's the original spirit of vengeance and, like, my personal hero. Almost as lame as Hank Pym being your hero. Uh, who's that? An annoying, outdated boomer. Just like your boy Blaze. Blaze is not a boomer. Whatever, Robbie. Fanboy all you want. Go get yourself an autograph for all I care. Just don't tell me I didn't warn you. You wanted to speak? I see you, Hunter. I notice what you've been up to. And what have I been up to exactly? Bad things. Very bad things. The worst. You should see the look on your face. I meant that in a good way. You're embracing the darkness more and more every day, owning it, but not letting it own you. And more importantly, you're proving to be quite a good... friend. You speak too soon, Ileana. Do not count me as a friend yet. Not when I can prove to be just as much a fiend. But it's the fiend in you that I like. And it's the fiend in you that may save us all. For years in this realm, I felt out of place. I was a sorceress who used the darkness within her for the cause of light and life. No one understood me, and most people were terrified. Then I met the Midnight Suns, and they showed me how to make a home in this world. It never felt right for a bad girl like me to fight with the good guys. Until you showed me how. You have shown me a lot too, Ileana. Perhaps, but I haven't told you everything. My time growing up in Limbo was difficult. The creature who brought me there... His name is Mephisto. The Prince of Lies? The Great Corrupter? Master of the Realm of Lost Souls? That Mephisto? The very same. He sought to blacken my soul with corruption. Forced me to hurt. To curse. To kill. I hate what he did. What he made me do. But without it, I am not the person you know. And I would never have met you. Am I a monster for being grateful it happened as it did? Of course not. A terrible creature inflicted pain on a friend of mine. Worse, he made her think it was her own fault. It was my fault. He was always the monster, Ileana. Never you. That is what I see. I do not agree, but I trust you. I shall consider what you said, okay? Okay. Thank you for listening to me, friend. Allow us to assist you. I suspect this will level the plane. Let's get started, Dr. Spooky. An undeniable essence of power. I did not think church was your style, Daywalker. Actually, it's Eric. Eric Brooks, from Harlem. I do not have any other name. It is just Hunter. Really? 
I thought you'd have some old formal sounding name like Benedict or Archibald. Afraid not. I was born a weapon and raised as one. I'm guessing that is why Caretaker chose to just call me Hunter. She did not want to give me the impression I was allowed to be human. Well, Sarah isn't exactly known for her warm parenting style. Can't say my mentor was much better. He was hard on me too. Wanted to make sure I survived. You had a mentor? I wasn't born this school. Someone had to teach me. His name was Jamal Afari, a vampire hunter. He gave me the name Blade. He used to take me to church on Sundays when I was a kid. Taught me right from wrong. Well, if it means anything to you, he did a fine job teaching you morality and ethics. Sometimes I think the difference between taking the high road and slumming it in the gutter is having someone who believes in you enough to lift you up. He could have killed me, you know, and he would have been within his rights to put me down too, but he didn't. Jamal was the first person to look past the fangs and see my humanity. Trained me to control my darkness so I could become the vampire hunter I am today. I guess what I'm saying is, you deserve that same benefit of doubt. You may be a demon child, but I see the human in you winning. I have no intention of disappointing you or anyone else here. If shit happens, shit happens. But I won't write you off if it does. Not right away, anyways. As long as you keep the faith in yourself, I'll keep the faith with you. That is a deal. Feels good to have someone keep you in check, don't it? What happened to this Jamal Afari? Do you still keep in touch? No, I killed him. Why? What happened? He asked too many questions. Just kidding. You keep showing me I can trust you, and maybe I'll tell you the whole story someday. But for now, I just want to let you know you're not all bad, Hunter. Just half bad, and that's good enough for me. So, uh, does someone want to tell me what we're doing here? We have a plan, Robbie. We just need you to wear something. Uh, where what? We'll get to that. It's a statement piece. And what kind of statement is that? Relax, kid. You should be excited. You're going to summon Johnny Blaze for us. I'm curious to see if this really works. Hey, can I ask a favor? Ah, oh, thanks, Hunter. This isn't the first team. Awesome! Thanks, Hunter! How am I supposed to summon Johnny Blaze? I don't summon. Summoning is not my thing. Hunter, did you hear this? I did. I was standing right here. Be honest with me. Am I really the right person to be summoning Johnny Blaze? Do not worry about whether or not you can do it, Robbie. Stark and Strange here know what they are doing. Do whatever they tell you, and you should be fine. Got it. A task so simple, even a dog could do it. Exactly right. Here's hoping I can outperform a dog. Did you have other concerns? <sighs> yeah, but we don't have a week to go over all of them. So let's go. Just tell me what I gotta do.
So you want me to do what? Give Johnny Blaze a call? On my Spirit of Vengeance cell phone? Yeah, that's the general idea. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was joking. We are not. These cuffs of Sidorak should allow the mirror table to access the innate link between you and your fellow Spirit of Vengeance, alone from the demon who resides within our forge. I added aloe to avoid any chafing. <sighs> Every other attempt we've made has failed. We need Robbie Reyes today, as well as the writer, if we are going to find Blaze and the page. Fine. So what do I do? Focus on Blaze or some... Blaze! Their spirits have connected. Gee whiz, you think? You cannot flee destiny. You cannot hide from me. Or Lilith, it would seem. We must go now, Hunter. The parchment of power must not be allowed to fall. I got this. Buzz off, Sparky. That was awesome. I never thought I'd be hunting Johnny Blaze. Really? Hunting is all I do. While you're out there, make sure to get Robbie and Blaze's autograph, will you? We're in a race to get Blaze before Hydra does. I just hope you reach him first. They're moving quite fast. We need to get the parchment from him. for this.
No more games. You do not have to show off for me, Blade. Think you're out of the woods yet. It's really you in the flesh, kid. What's left of it? The page, Blaze. This time I will not be so tolerant. Hold that thought. Soulless bastards must smell the damn thing on me. My mother be damned. Solas don't give two rats about Lilith. Or even Kassan. Who do they serve, then? Good question. But right now, I got a better one. You want this? That what you're all here for? Well, here. Captain. Tenebris. Lux Tenebris. Wait, In virtue he's not reading the page. Yes, he is. Get back! Things are about to get crazy. Martha, where are you going? was not what we were hoping for. Speak for yourself, lady. There was a time when Lilith had the highest of standards for her minions. That time has clearly passed.
want to make things interesting. fight. Mother abandoned you. You have earned this. I feel more like myself every day. numbers to overwhelm you. Don't get cocky. As if the Lilin were not enough, now we face the servants of another evil. Makes no difference to me. Hell has room for everyone.
save some for the rest of you. Now that was something. centuries ago.
They were guilty of the deserve of that. Possibly match your strength. Yeah. 